So, we are back after a long hiatus. So, I didn't say anything on the on the Lions game. It's basically a lot of stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to make a whole video on a recap of both games that just happened. So, the Ravens, the last two weeks, have won both of their games. Against the Lions, convincingly, and against the Cardinals. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how we kind of have a chance here. With these wins and other teams losing, we had the Steelers lose, we had the Browns lose. Uh, the Bengals did win that one game since, uh, since the past two weeks. But hey, we still have a two-game lead over the rest of the AFC North. And we have a chance to really run away with the division extremely early. If we can if we just keep on winning. Keep on winning and then just hope for for some help. Hope for some help in the uh in the other games. So against the Lions, we pretty much played a perfect game, right? We played a perfect game. Offense was clicking, defense was clicking. The offense, it was exactly how it was supposed to go against the Steelers. Whatever happened against the Lions, whatever happened to the Lions, was supposed to happen to the Steelers. That is a fact. It, it's just a fact. It was supposed to happen to the Steelers. And a lot of teams, you could say as well. Because perfect game. There wasn't really a negative, honestly. Uh, especially with Lamar. Again, we know what we get from Lamar. He's been he's been really lighting shit up, week in, week out, this this year. Uh, but hey, who would have who would have thought he'd do better in a he he do he'd be good in a real offense? Who would have thought? Exactly. Uh, defensively, uh, we're keeping on being uh, being uh, being great. We're still averaging 13 points allowed a game, while scoring about like 23 points. So that's very very good so far. And we could have been eight 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 and zero really if we didn't just beat ourselves in the in the two games we lost but we're 6 and 2 it's reality uh good teams lose games they should win y y you can't win them all but honestly against the cardinals we still we, we didn't play our best game that's for sure but it was unsustainable to really just repeat what we were doing Against the Lions two weeks in a row. It was extremely unsustainable. Uh, you shouldn't have expected a complete blowout like it was. But I think it was kind of a game where the Cardinals didn't really have a chance to win. They were never there to win. After their first touchdown. There was really no going back after we tied it up. Honestly. Uh, you, you might just look at the score and be like, oh, oh, we only beat them by a touchdown. No, it was it, it, like if you watch the game, it was 31 to 15. It was a 31 to 15 game, basically. It, it was just nothing. It was nothing short of that. And then we really just let them score a few garbage time TDs, but that was it. They had no chance of winning, like I said. And they scored a touchdown, which was pretty BS. It was, I mean, their second touchdown to make it 24 to 15 was extremely BS. It, it, it really was. I mean, they just rewrote the entire rule book for it. Uh, it, it should have been a whistle. It's not how it works. It shouldn't have been a touchdown. It should have been a stop because he already made the forward progress. It, it was The play was supposed to be blown dead. Uh, but, hey, the refs were just trying to screw us over this entire game, and we overcame it. Uh, 
even on their first drive, we had a bunch of phantom calls, a bunch of fa phantom PIs that weren't supposed to be called at all. It, it was just uh, nothing. It, it was just some nothing calls. Uh, but hey, whatever. We we took care of business. We were never gonna not. We were never gonna like repeat whatever happened last week, which was a pretty much a pretty perfect performance if you think about it. Uh, and defensively, we weren't perfect either, but we still allowed. I mean, twenty four points is. You might see, but we played them very, very well. We took care of our thing. The D line had reps. They lost. They ran the ball. Did fine. Uh, offensively, uh, we did okay. The run game did good. Uh, Bateman had his moments. Mark Andrews was, was our best receiver. Did his thing. Uh, Odell. It, it must really suck for him because he he really didn't he could have had a score he he drew he still did something he still drew pis and yeah and, and he, he would have scored on that one on that one play if, if he uh if he wasn't interfered if he had both hands but hey his TD's gonna come it, 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 it it's gonna come one day. Whether it would be against the Seahawks or it would be in two weeks. Hey. Uh, we're going to have one. So, about the division, the outlook. We are 6-2. and two. Steelers and Browns tied for second place at 4-3. and three. And then the Bengals, well, yeah. They're pretty much... Steelers, Browns, Bengals, three-way tie at four and three. Uh, we have a two-game lead over all of them, and we have a tiebreaker over the Browns and Bengals. Uh, the we're two and zero in the, two and one in division. Steelers two and zero. Browns are. I don't remember. Uh, they're like two and one. No, one and two in the division. Yeah, they they have to be one and two in the division, right? Uh, they well, they lost to us. They lost to Steelers, but they beat the bank. Yeah, they're one and two. One and two the in division. The Bengals are zero and two in the division still, and they don't even have a win against an AFC team yet. So they're at a disadvantage. Uh, if they lose maybe one or two before we play them on Thursday night, we could pretty much just end their season right there. We could end their season. Uh, in week 11, I think we played them. But, hey. Like, none of this matters until we just take care of our business for the next few weeks. And we could just use, uh, on top of that, uh, a little help from other teams. Uh, but, yeah. We really have a chance to take a really take a stand in the AFC North and even in the AFC. Uh, the Chiefs are str are not really doing that well. Uh, I, I really don't think it's going to be like this for the rest of the season. I think second half Chiefs is when they really turn it up. And the rest of the AFC is pretty much up for grabs. I think we could pretty much get the second seed. Uh, basically, because I, I still think I still think the AFC Championship is going to be in Arrowhead. Until proven otherwise, it's, it's going to happen. I'm, I'm pretty much ready for it. Uh, so, about what we need for the trade deadline. If we could get a playmaker, that would be great. It's, it's exactly what we need. It's, at running back, I know Gus had three TDs, and you might be like, oh, we don't need him. Because, of course... Uh, a lot of Ravens fans are just allergic. Just allergic to talent. Just, I mean, that's their problem, man. Like, they'll just be like, oh, we don't need this, we don't need that, we don't need this. Like, like, dude, if it was defense, I mean, if it was defense, they would have been just, 
I mean, bro, like, they're all over Daniel Hunter, and we're leading the league in sacks, and he still won him. But, oh, uh, we're, like, a few injury scares from receivers being terrible, and our running backs are obviously not good enough. I mean, Gus Edwards is good, but he's not going to be there. He snapped. Justice Hill is not it, bro. Like, I know he puts a lot of effort. He runs hard. And Ravens fans just overrate him, overrate the heck out of him because of that. Just blindly overrate him. But, hey, we got to face reality. He's not that good. He, 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 at the end of the day, he's just not that good. And uh, it just came out that the Titans owner, he vetoed a trade that would send Derrick Henry to Baltimore, which is preposterous, bro. Which is just, it's so annoying. Dude, yeah, it, it, it's extremely annoying, man. It is, uh, so, we will probably have to look at other options, maybe Saquon, maybe Alvin Kamara, maybe Javante Williams, some guy, and if we can get a receiver like uh, DeAndre Hopkins or Devontae Adams or someone, or Jerry Judy or Corlin Sutton or s someone out there, just to add and, and, and just... For, <laughs> Especially for insurance, because uh, our wide receiver room is extremely made of glass. We are two injuries away from being the exact same situation as last year. We gotta just remember that. And even then, Bateman ain't really haven't hasn't been living up to his hype. Odell, he's been on and off the field. I mean, he, he looks like he's just getting hurt all the time. It's, it's always something with him. Uh, but, yeah. Hopefully we do something by the trade deadline tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Click button. Comment down below your thoughts. And uh, how you think this season's going to end? We have a pretty good stretch of games that I'm very confident in uh, right now. Even more as weeks as weeks progress because they're not looking as big as you'd think. So yeah.